when we're talking about sustaining peace, we still think like it's a competition to try and achieve that peace, but it's actually something, uh, it's, it's like a song, you know, everyone come together and sing together in a one big choir and it sounds so beautiful. Growing up here in Honiara and witnessing the ethnic tension at a very young age, at the age of eight, and then we had like we like had to move to the province, much safer for my family there, and come back at the age of ten. You know, it was a time like we realized, you know, the country is not stable and people's voices are not heard, and uh, young people like us were affected. Our education was like affected by that and like we have rebels come into our house. Dad was a politician, mom was from Malaita, where the ethnic is really from. So you can really see what's happening. It's, it's, it's raw and when Ramsey came, when Ramsey came in, there was, it was like a sense of relief for us, you know, there was hope. It's because of how Ramsey bring in, how Ramsey came to Solomon Islands to help out uh, in law and order, that we youths, that those of us children back in those days, we feel like we're, we're superheroes, we're gonna be peace builders, something like that, yeah? So when we grow up and we become youths and um, young leaders now, we're thinking there's a way we can continue on when Ramsey go away, when Ramsey leaves, we can still continue on because we're equipped when we're little and we, we know what we want in the future also as peace builders.